What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on my channel. Today what we got for you guys is a brand new teaser trailer entitled Embers for Black Ops 3 that we're going to be talking about here today. What we can see from this is very little but a lot to do with the storyline. That kind of is contradictory, yes, but there is a lot of stuff going into the back end of this. Not really so much the actual story that we have itself, but so much setting the plot line and the setting for the actual game itself. Itself. So what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at everything that we can see here in this trailer And it'll lead us up into black ops 3's reveal this Sunday the 26th now If you are new here be sure to subscribe We got a bunch of black ops 3 content to be continuing to talk about as well as let's try and shoot for a hundred likes here on this video YouTube's been busted here and there so hasn't really been sending to feeds But share this off like it whatever you can I want to bring you guys the most information that I can and I want to share this all with you guys So if you can do that for me, thank you so much. Thank you for the continued support, but Black Ops 3 Embers trailer. Let's get right into it So like I said the first thing here with this is it's just playing out the storyline going through the progression of time Talking about the first initial ideas of using something like cybernetics and all that kind of stuff First as a necessity and trying to resuscitate life into people that don't have the abilities to have limbs or something like that Like war veterans who had their limbs blown off or something similar So it is a necessity to resuscitate the livelihood of those specific people but then it moves up into the fact where it's playing now into pop culture and into professional sports Stuff like that going into almost everyday living now It does in fact keep on going to say it is becoming a luxury where people can now have implants in their retinas As well as have vital organs and other things of your body Voluntarily removed and replaced to make your life a little bit better in some way shape or form However as with everything that is new in technology and something that has such a a big effect on everyday life it does start to get questioned and people seem to think that this is not the way to go so this is going to create some sort of split here in terms of an already unsettled society on the idea and then we find out that the government is creating super soldiers and that leads us up into one of our final frames here where you see these soldiers on the battlefield and the limbs of this specific soldier are not lit up in thermal so they are bionic and he is in fact what one would call a Cyborg that leads us up into what will be our 2065 setting here in black ops 3 assuming that's when it actually sticks to that was the last date that we had in terms of years up in this trailer So that is my assumption as well as a lot of others that 2065 will be the primary year for this campaign Now what are some things that we may have possibly missed now? There's not too much to go off of but there is some stuff to talk about nonetheless That being a lot of the stuff that was found in the glitching Effects in this trailer there was a lot of almost HUD effects in this glitch where you could see some writing here and there But there were a few things that stood out that weren't just random Some of them did have a pattern some of them did have multiple occurrences and seemingly were there for the majority of the actual trailer What were those well the first one being the lettering ERA now that we don't know exactly what that means There's a ton of acronyms if you seriously search the abbreviations for ERA there is about like hundred and fifty no popular ones that's just something that was actually made into an actual corporation or something that was made legitimate by actually registering that abbreviation for a specific purpose somebody else could come up with a random ERA abbreviation and there could be possibly millions of that for it now what it exactly is that again is something we don't know but it's something that I wanted to point out to you guys because it does come up a ton now the next thing that we see even more commonly than the lettering ERA is the signature of the gong Zoo facility now this is something that we see starting out in the very beginning of the trailer and going on into a lot of the HUD style cinematics where you can see it in various spots amongst the footage but it starts out very blurred but then starts to actually increasingly become more focused and sharpened this is in probably about 75% of the actual glitched HUD effects in this trailer so I would imagine this is something tied in with the actual storyline now if you actually do look up gong Zoo, what it is is the Chinese version of the game hearts now we're talking about all kinds of cybernetics and replacing of organs and other vital pieces to the human body And here we have this facility based off of the game hearts We know that Treyarch likes to be a little creative and crafty with that kind of stuff So could this potentially be something tying in with our storyline? 
I don't know. I thought it was really cool though, especially with that tie-in to the game Hearts. I found that very cool, so I wanted to bring that to you guys. But the last thing that we see here in this trailer, we do see it twice for a total of three times in two frames. That being the numbering 115. Now, obviously we know that Un Un Pentium is the actual element for zombies. So we've seen this a couple times throughout the first teaser trailer. Now up into the second one. Zombies, again, I think it's no surprise that it's going to be in Black Ops 3. But the fact that they're teasing this so quickly and so early does in fact get my brain thinking a little bit what it could mean. Again, I have no idea, but wanted to bring you guys this. But that's where we're going to end it today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to be continuing all this kind of stuff here in the next couple of days here, leading up into Sunday with the World Ride reveal of Black Ops 3's official release trailer. So stick it right here for all that kind of stuff. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares here, Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace, if you're OG like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content and any new news information. You guys know exactly to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Manu Kolai Espresso. As always, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>